we want to challenge this bottom up philosophy yenye imekuja kutuingiza nimekaa nyumbani sasa miaka 20 it cannot work na tutatembea tukiuza baba the fifth na busia county na jua vile muko nayo hapa statistics yenu ni odm na tumeamua watu wa western ya kwamba saa hii kwa kuwa mheshimiwa paranya ametuambia njia ndio hii tuko na mheshimiwa paranya twende na yeye kwa serikali ambaye wewe mheshimiwa unaunda tunaomba watu wa western province si ati tuundiwe serikali na tuje hapana tuunde pamoja na mzee mheshimiwa Raila nimerudi nyumbani kwa chama cha ODM na mimi nitakuwa hapa watu wa Mumias wameniambia peupe kwamba watatembea na mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga sisi tunajua ODM is all inclusive wa mama na youth tutapata nafasi katika hii chama na sisi tumeamua tutatembea na wewe baba utuonyeshe direction kwa sababu wewe ndo baba yetu we are the future leaders wewe ukitupea mwelekeo ndo tutafuata ile wakati ukifika sisi pia tutakuwa viongozi we released baba to the people of Kenya so that they can be able to have a conversation with him wamjue kwa undani wajue mambo mbaya nasimamia sasa huyu baba sio baba wa ODM peke yake yeye ni baba wa kila mtu na sisi tunataka tuelewane kwamba hata wakati ambapo tunatengeneza urafiki na ndugu zetu hatutajisahau sisi kama wana ODM our people are so bitter that these two leaders can sell our people because of few silvers we are saying our region itafata baba hao wameenda peke yao kwa sababu ya matumbo zao lakini wananchi busia bungoma vihiga kakamega tranzoya wananchi wako wazimio na wako na baba in 2002 this guy who has gone to Sugoi supported Uhuru, and Uhuru lost terribly. In 2007, you uplifted him from political oblivion. He supported you. You know what happened. In 2013, he was with, he went alone. Uh, he supported himself. He lost terribly. Ile mbaya kabisa. Then you also lifted him up again. You brought him back from the political oblivion. In 2017, he came back and supported you. You know what happened. He has been a bad omen to you, Baba. He has been a bad omen. Now, Baba, you are going to walk to state house free of this man. He has been the reason why you've not reached state house. Onajua ukiwa na Baba, mambo ni sa? Sawa. And I want to tell you, you better lose or win in a winning team. But don't even win or lose in a losing team. Hapa baba yuko ju, na ziti nasema hatuta kubali, waluya kuuzwa. Mudabadi ametumia waluya kufanya biashara kila election. Na baada election, ye wenda kujenga estates, mai kuona mtu wa mayunguka kura, anatha kujenga estates. That's the time mudabadi ya kanguka kura, anatha kujenga manyumba mingi ya kuuza. A real estate. Inamanisha wewe unauza. Na mimi nataka kumuliza wile mruto. Ruto wewe wachana na sisi. Sisi ni waluya. Kama menunua mdavadi nunua huyo. Because nunua moja ukapatua mungine furi. Anaito etango. Kwa hivyo wewe wachana na sisi. Sisi tufanya ye. Yetu. Wakati umefika. Na wakati ni sasa. Na wale majenerali kamili. Ambao kwa sababu ya uchaguzo na kuja. Tunaomba kwamba. Kuna jamaa amejita amejita nini? At shock? Earthquake. Sijui earthquake shock. Sasa ile swali mzuri ameuliza siku nyingine. Mama mboga yawezekana ni mdava di kweli? <laughs> Ama ni weta. Nimesikia Musalia na Wetangula wakisema oh tunataka kumaliza hapa siasa ya politics of deceit. Siasa ya kudanganyana, sujui nini. Mimi nataka ambia hawa. 2022, tutamalisa siasa ya blackmail. Yeah, yeah. Sasa safari meanza. Sasa kila team wabaye jazi yao. Yeah. 
watu wakutane kwa kiwanja safari imea sibili imesha sainiwa sasa wale wanajikokota kokota wale wamekula pesa ya dams wale wamekula pesa ya tokyo wale wamekula pesa ya cemetery ngambo hiyo wale wame wale wana, wako na historia ya Kenya ya kusaidia na kutetea wa Kenya Kute, kutetea demokrasia kutetea katiba mpya kutetea devolution kutetea human right kutetea wanyonge ngambo hii watu wakutane kwa kiwa that is the division that we have in Kenya today coalition ya wezi na coalition ya wananchi ya Kenya mimi tangu nianze siasa i have been a strong and staunch follower of Raila Odinga and i can tell you why because i know he means well for this country i know he has sacrificed yani to the level that nobody you can imagine anaweza fika hiyo level for this country we know the intentions of transforming our lives but most importantly is to create a level playing field for all of us tumepatana he wants to create a united country whereas in the future my brother edwin sifuna if he wants to become president he has a chance tupatana paka hapo na lazima mutafautishe lazima ufanye nini kuna wale ambaye wanataka kuwafanya nyinyi muwe wafuasi wa kudumu miaka nenda miaka rudi wafuasi you know because they believe that is their right uongozi ni haki yao but you must look at the definition of azimio la u moja how is it defined and for what purpose alafu hao wote wanaongea unajua mimi nawaangalia wanam tusi sana baba agenda yao ni baba tu kwa mikutano baba ni mtu heshima baba hawezi jibizana nao lakini wanoko kama sisi tuko na sasa tumeshaamua watajua hawajui wamepata haki yao sasa saa hii wengi wenu ambao mnataka kuja nyumbani mnaitwa au kuja tupe pesa fulani na mjui walipewa pesa ngapi na ujue baba hao wameenda peke yao kama wamengua wameenda na watu wetu hao wangekuja hapa siku ya leo wangehepa lakini kwa sababu kwa ground watu wanajua wameenda peke yao ndio unaona hata wengine wako wanakuja tunaopunga wanakuja by the way utaona bado wanajipanga wiki ijayo tu muangalie vile mambo itakuwa inaendelea kwa hivyo papa sisi tutaendelea kuunga mkono kwa sababu umefanya mambo mengi Kenya italindwa na wa Kenya wa Kenya utalinda wa Kenya wenyewe wa Kenya hawezi kudanganywa na hao watu kama hao wakora wezi wanaiba na baadaye wakasaiba hiyo pesa hiyo mnaiba wanakuja naye papa 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 pia kelele hapa nunua mtu hapa mtu hiyo pesa hawezi kununua Kenya Kenya is not on sale Kenya will not be bought by money which has been stolen from the people of Kenya we will liberate Kenya forever from these people we did it from the shackles of dictatorship of the second regime the one that was taking arresting people taking them to nyayo house torturing them dropping some of them from the third floor and so on kenyans stood up and got rid of those people yeah, that was the most uh, obnoxious regime and they had all the powers all the state machinery sasa hii mbona napiga kelele tu namna hii hawa ni nini 
these ones here cannot ever spoil or even tamper with the spirit of Kenya. The Kenyan spirit that drove the way the mighty colonial power. The Kenyan spirit that liberated the people of Kenya through the second liberation is going to take Kenya through the third liberation. The third liberation is economic liberation of our people. It will empower our people. Our women will be able to walk with pride as women of Kenya. <laughs>